I'm hopeful, and I think uh, we'll learn a lot about longer duration space flight and, uh, and how that will take us to Mars someday. So I'd like to think that this is a, another of many stepping stones to us landing on Mars sometime in our future. You know, it's a, uh, you know the space station here is a, a magical place. It's uh, uh, an incredible science facility we have. Uh, it's a privilege to, to fly here, and it's something that I hope uh, more people will have the opportunity uh, to do in the future. And I, you know, I think we will. Um, it's just a matter of it's just a matter of time. You know, it's somewhat of a harsh environment. Uh, you know, you never, even after, you know, I've been here nearly a year, you don't feel perfectly normal. You know, there's always, uh, you know, a lingering something you feel or, you know, it's just not, not normal. Having said that, it's not necessarily uncomfortable, but it is a harsh environment. You know, for instance, having no running water, you know, it's kind of like I've, I've been in the woods camping for a year. You know, I've spent in the CQ I'm looking at, the crew quarters here, probably almost half the time I've been here between sleeping and, and working on the computer, I've spent in a, basically a box the size of a, a phone booth. But I think, the you know, the hardest part is, is being isolated, uh, you know, in a physical sense from, from people on the ground that are important to you. Um, you know, I think it's a little bit of a, a different experience being on, on this space station versus Mir. We have, uh, uh, you know, better connectivity with people on the ground. Um, you know, I think the environment is a little bit more comfortable. Um, and so, you know, I really respect what he did back then, uh, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I could go another 100 days. I could go an another year if I had to. It would just depend on, on what I was doing and if it uh, if it made sense although i do look forward to getting home here next week